Milton, sit. I got you. Too much attention focus on Milton, sit. Milton, sit. Milton. Milton. You were just, I mean, you were literally not paying attention to me. Sit. Do you know who's being a princess? Maddie. Maddie's always being a princess. Maddie's always being a princess. Maddie, you want to give mommy paw? Good girl. You look so happy. Good girl. Um, let's talk about meal prep. So today I am doing two recipes that I've never done before. Number one, tried and true. Uh, actually, I think I have done it before, but it's been years ago. Uh, Keto Connects Butter Chicken. I, you know, I try to she alternate. talked about this yesterday. I try to alternate protein, so I was like, oh, okay. I had ground beef the week before. Last, I had pork well, you, this past you week. You so I was like, settle, I'm gonna go back to chicken. You were getting settled on taco again. I was gonna go back to taco trade, but I was like, you know what? Let me try something you different. Force yourself to do something. Yeah. Different. So now I'm, like, I'm doing really butter chicken and riced cauliflower. So I'm excited about that. What I'm even more excited about is this chocolate peanut butter fat bomb oh kind of bar that I'm making from Low Carb Maven. Never heard of it before, but I she had some great pictures. Like I Googled chocolate peanut butter fat bomb because those are my two favorite flavors. And so the picture that she had, it was almost like a little sandwich where you put a layer of chocolate ganache on a uh, on an eight by eight sheet uh, mm -hmm. and then you freeze it and then mm -hmm. you put like a middle layer of peanut butter and mm -hmm. then you freeze it then you put another layer of chocolate it was like oh i can get down with that so yes i'm going to try wow, that out this that week i really really hope that i like it Okay guys, starting off the meal prep, we have Keto Connects Butter Chicken. I am taking some chicken breast tenderloins and I am cutting them up into small chunks. Next up come the spices. I added all the spices to the chicken and mixed it around until it was all coated. After that, I just chopped up half an onion. I heated up two tablespoons of butter over medium heat in a pan and added my onions and garlic. After those had cooked down and become translucent, I added in the chicken and cooked it until it was almost completely cooked. From there, you add heavy whipping cream and tomato paste and then you stir everything to combine and cover with a lid to let it reduce. Next, I just took some microwave in a bag cauliflower rice and added it to the reduced mixture. And that's it. After that, I turned off the heat and set it aside to let it cool. Starting on the chocolate peanut butter fat bombs, the first thing I did was chop up and melt four ounces of unsweetened Baker's chocolate over a double boiler. After that, it's time to whip together the butter and powdered sweetener. Once the butter and sweetener was whipped and the chocolate was cool, I added the chocolate to the mixture in order to make a chocolate buttercream. After I made the chocolate buttercream, I put half of that mixture in the bottom of a lined baking sheet and put that in the freezer to set up. 
Moving on to the peanut butter layer, I just whipped together some softened butter, some of this Kirkland mixed nut butter, and some more powdered sweetener. I took the chocolate mixture out of the freezer and added the middle peanut butter layer. I put it back in the freezer for five to 10 minutes until it was firm to the touch. Finally, I added the top and last layer of chocolate. BJ, come on, good boy. Good boy, BJ. Let's go look at the ducks, boy. I used to be scared of ducks, not no more. Where you going, bruh? Where you going, huh? You want some of this? We're over at Aunt Beverly's house, chilling with the ducks. Look at Richard, National Geographic, just feeding the wild animals. He's so, he's so silly. Can you see, BJ just likes to rub his body up against the fence. See, he just walks along the fence back and forth. My Beverly basically has a zoo over here. Here's the front porch cat. Oh, are y'all friends? Y'all friends? Oh, no, okay. Hi, kitty. Oh, you look scary. Okay, guys, I am done with meal prep. Bunch of new recipes this week. I just decided to just be different and do different stuff for no reason. Right here, we have Keto Connects Butter Chicken. I followed the recipe exactly, and it came out perfect. I guess the only thing that I did differently is it says that you can serve it over cauliflower rice, but I went ahead and just mixed it in there so that the cauliflower rice could just soak up all the sauce. It looks orange and flavorful and it smells so amazing. And I, oh, I also just threw a ton of red pepper in there as well to make it spicy. So for my main meal, I'm gonna have that with some broccoli and a tablespoon of butter. Starting off my morning, it is the same cello wisps. I got these Blue Diamond Smokehouse almonds. I really, really like having the roasted and salted almonds. Normally the Costco brand is just dry roasted, but I'm gonna see how I like these so that maybe I don't have to go back to Whole Foods all the time to get some almonds. And there's Maddie. And there's Maddie being a princess. And there's Maddie being a princess. What you doing, Maddie? Looking away? Okay, good girl, way to look away. Okay, then Bulletproof Coffee, same old, same old here. Don't forget, you can get 10% off your purchase of this chocolate keto collagen from Preferred Keto using WAC10 on their website. And then for dessert, guys, I just done lost my mind. I was like, I want a chocolate peanut butter fat bomb that like I've never made before. So I randomly found this recipe from Low Carb Maven. It's basically like a layered bar using chocolate buttercream with some sort of peanut butter spread in the middle. Like I am here for it. I'll tell you this, I definitely licked the mixing spoon on every single layer and it was delicious. These have to chill in the freezer overnight, so I cannot wait to show these to you on my What I Eat Wednesday, but like I have no idea what this tastes like. For the sweetener in there, if you recall, it called for powdered sweetener, but I decided to just pulse up some Lakanto in my spice grinder. So if you ever want to turn granular sweetener into powder, just mix it in a spice grinder. Also, you can get 15% off your Lakanto purchase using WAC15. On their website there's also a link below so I'm excited to reintroduce a chocolate element this week chocolate and peanut butter like I'm I'm excited to see how this tastes and then finally we have Sprite cheese and some more citric acid jello overall I'm really enjoying just making random recipes for recipe sake I mean today was really fun and it was really easy so I'm looking forward to having it during the week I know the butter chicken is one of Keto Connect's most popular recipes. Comment down below, have you ever made their butter chicken? It looks and tastes delicious from what I can tell. Also, have you ever made that low carb maven fat bomb? I just randomly found it on the internet, so fingers crossed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make meal preps on Mondays, what I eat Wednesdays, and Freestyle Friday videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week.